Hey guys, as I'm sure we're all enjoying rookie Quinn Hughes thriving on the Canucks here, this video is going to be taking a look at his younger brother Jack Hughes who is projected to be the first overall pick in the upcoming draft. Jack is 17 years old and is 5 foot 10. He plays center and shoots left. Looking through his numbers, they are very impressive here. He joined the U.S. National Development Program in 2017-18 and played on both the under-17 and 18 team. Last season, including exhibition matches, he tallied 40 goals, 76 assists for 116 points in just 60 games played. In his 2018-19 campaign, he racked up 12 goals, 36 assists for 48 points in just 24 games, giving him a clean 2 points per game average. He also had a very impressive showing, getting 1 point a game in the World Juniors, posting 4 assists in 4 games. One thing that immediately comes to mind when watching Jack Hughes with the puck is his awareness of his advantages and where he can situate himself on the ice to be most dangerous. Uh, he trained where a lot of elite NHL players have trained in Oakville, Ontario at the BTNL camp, which stands for Beyond the Next Level. The facility is located at Canland, Oakville, and I've spent quite a lot of time there over the past few years with Dan Ninkovich, otherwise known as Deej. Uh, who runs the operations there, and I got to talk with him a lot about the training environment and culture. And even better, I always get to lace him up and run through some of the drills on the ice as well as off the ice uh, that he's taking guys like Jack Hughes and Connor McDavid through. One thing that was made very clear to me with my discussions with Deej is that it takes a village to raise a kid. He didn't want a lot of credit for it. He mentioned a lot of praise should go to his mother and father, Jim and Ellen Hughes, who played high-level hockey themselves and uh, had a very involved and supportive role for their son's development. One resemblance I've seen in Jack's game is like Patrick Kane with the way he sees the ice and his ability to slow down the game and get respect in the form of more distance from defenders for fear of getting burned. At 5'10", 161 pounds, if Hughes were to be drafted number one overall, he'd be the smallest player drafted first overall since Patrick Kane, who was 5'10", 171 pounds. As a 16-year-old playing in the USHL, Hughes managed to record 54 points in 27 games for an even two points a game. Again, the guy loves racking up two points a game. Anyone who knows the USHL well will know that it is not an easy league to rack up points in. Throughout the entire history of the league, no player has averaged more than 1.45 points per game having played 20 games or more. Some noteworthy names in the NHL who have big numbers in the USHL are Svechnikov, who had 1.21 points per game, and Austin Matthews, who had 1 point per game in his 20 appearances. Many of the NHL's top prospects have also played in the U-17 Hockey Challenge, which is an international tournament. Hughes led the U.S. to victory, getting 15 points in just 6 games. He wasn't done there, as he finished off the season scoring 12 points in 7 games to lead in scoring in the IIHF World Men's U18 Championship. And the only other underager to have led that tournament in scoring was actually 15-year-old Connor McDavid. When you look at the direction the game is going, it's tailor-made to a player like Jack Hughes. A fast, high-skilled stick handler with great edge work and overall deception. A player who sees the ice well and seemingly sees plays develop in slow motion with his awareness and quick-thinking ability. So much of the game now is about multitasking, which is something he is very good at. It was an absolute pleasure to talk with Deej about how Jack trained. One thing that stood out for me that I see a lot in his game is doing simple things at high speeds. I remember the conversation vividly discussing the importance of being able to process information, keep the feet moving, and know the next play before it develops. One of the traits you look for when discussing players with a high hockey IQ is the ability to change up their mind and find a creative solution. So much of the game is randomness. A broken play can develop on an errant pass, mishandle of the puck, unexpected press, a bounce off a skate that you didn't prepare for. It seems that when Hughes is scanning the ice, he is taking a lot into account mentally without slowing down physically. And that is absolutely a trainable skill. And full credit goes to Deej and whoever else had a helping hand in his development. 
As a stick handling specialist, he is obviously a player I'm drawn to. He's got a lot of moves and knows how to make full use of the blade and is a very skilled player at putting the puck to a functional position as he enters, goes through, and exits a move. This leads him to be a constant threat with the puck and has the ability to change up his mind with another stick handling move and release a shot and pass quicker without sacrificing speed or mobility. Combine that with the ability to stay ahead of the game and you begin to realize why a player like Jack is posting the kind of numbers that he is. So going through some of the drills that he took Jack through, we're doing simple stuff at high speeds and we're looking at processing information faster, which means skating faster up to the training aid and then meeting another one very quickly. So we're really trying to rush our thinking a bit here. Obviously, depending on your skill level, you're going to want to take into account how much space uh, you need. Um, but what we're really doing here is forcing ourselves to think faster, keep the feet moving, have sharp edge work, and always come out of the moves with the ability to make another play. And so much of his dry land stuff is all about mobility, uh, being able to move with the puck, shift the weight efficiently, uh, something as simple as dropping the hips to fake a defender out, which allows you to get on that inside edge uh, to quickly change direction without the defender knowing. He does a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, I went through a lot of it. It looks easy, but it is not so simple when you really get down to those finer details. Lastly, I'd like to mention is skating because that is by far the most important part of the game. Whenever we talk about stick handling, we always have to consider its transferability to the game, especially at these high levels, and without that solid foundation of skating and edgework behind it, it is quite useless. Hughes is a very shifty player, uh, which is mostly a result of his solid skating background. He does the simple things very well, like those weight shifts. Uh, he can find the inside edge and the outside edge very well. Uh, to transition between crossover strides, punch turns, uh, quick sharp cuts uh, for those sudden changes of direction. It is so hard to track a player with a balanced skill set like Hughes has. Once they have the puck, it's kind of like the defender's at their mercy. Uh, Hughes holds the cards and is in complete control of the situation. I especially love how aggressive he is when it comes to demanding better shooting angles. Uh, you don't find him in the corners uh, just shooting for the sake of it. He really tries to get into those dangerous shooting lanes. The future is bright for Jack Hughes, and I hope you've learned a little bit about his development. No video can summarize completely what it takes to become an NHL player, and I'm sure his parents can testify to the levels of focus, work ethic, and perseverance to push past the failure that is required to get as good as Jack has gotten. Uh, but if I can leave you with anything in this video, I would hope that it shows you guys that you can do a lot with your abilities once you get the right information and put in the work. Really big thanks to Dan from BTNL for hosting me whenever I come back to Toronto. I'll see you again very soon, buddy. Uh, take me through some more drills. Show me some more stuff. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,